How do I know that the alt-right and the, uh, the new wave of uh, fruity wannabe Nazis will fail in the United States? Well, the reason why is because um, real <laughs> Nazis, like Commander George Lincoln Rockwell, who founded the American Nazi Party, was a former naval commander and an um, uh, expert marketer, he failed. Okay, Dr. William Luther Pierce, a physics professor that is a hell of a lot smarter than some fat dude with a lisp that's talking about the traditionalist workers party. He failed. Okay? So, why am I saying this? Many people don't understand that the way to win is not through politics. We have to look at how the communists won. And that's through the long march. What the communists did is they infiltrated the education system, they infiltrated all levels of society, and they brainwashed one generation. And that's all you need. There's an excellent video called How to Brainwash a Nation. And there's also a couple videos on cultural Marxism. Anybody serious about changing this country should watch them. I hope to not be in this country in a small while. I hope to be in Latin America, not giving a damn about this country that does not give a damn about its citizenry. Uh, the citizenry of this country gets the government it deserves. And that's something that people need to understand. Everybody wants to say about how horrible the politicians are. How the hell do you think the politicians get elected? Do you think they magically take office? No, they're elected into office by stupid voters. And um, the majority of those voters still are Caucasian. And the, the main failing of white nationalism and the alt-right is its overestimation of white people. It believes that white people, the majority of white people are on their side. And if you just show them the facts, they'll be on their side. The majority of white people have a disease of the mind. And that is why I reach out to Hispanic people. And that is why I promote Pan-Americanism because the only option left on the table is Pan-Americanism. Uh, to reach out to white people, you're just reaching out to liberals. Even the conservatives are liberals. That's what these people don't understand. Uh, Glenn Beck, who, who basically is a salesman, he's, he's sold a lot of stuff, is a liberal. And then even good leaders, good white leaders like Dr. David Duke. I like Dr. David Duke. He got the word out. He wrote a couple great books, etc. But if you listen to his videos and watch his videos, he sounds more like a freaking televangelist than a national socialist. And he's not a national socialist. He is a conservative. And again, I like David Duke. I think David Duke is a good dude, but I don't appreciate his support of the alt, right? And uh, just plain, uh, it seems like everyone has gone to a level of... Uh, Nobody's coming back. And th this whole thing about how everybody hides on the internet and they think they're going to make change by hiding on the internet. No, you're going to make change by causing people to see things the way you do and slowly and steadily infiltrating the school systems, the media, and changing one generation. And like I said, I hope not to be here because this country's going to hell.